All right, we're here with my uh, buddy Rob. Hello. He's a machinist, third generation, right, Rob? Yep, third generation. And uh, I just bought this can of uh, taps, and I seen something that was in here, Rob. And uh, explain to me what it is. Might as well, might as well dump them out. Because right. this, this is a so many different kind of taps, and the average person, even myself, don't even know. Uh, this will be the what first in the uh, Road King Machine Shop Educational Series. Hey, if the, if the first edition, about every five years, one another edition will come out when we figure out something new to say. My tubes want it, I'll give it to them. Probably keeping taps in a can like this is not too good on the cutting edges, but these are mostly for cleaning out holes and stuff yeah. like that. But for what I do, it's you yeah, know, I, I use a tap every once every five years or so because the cutting edges would be on the side. So anyway, what we got but here? But this is actually what, what caught my attention, you know. And I said, "What the hell is that?" This is called a coform tap. Now. What it's, what it's for is actually uh, not cutting the tap, it forms the thread. You, you put a, a bigger hole in there, you, gotta, you have a really controlled so hole size. You, know, you do it with a reamer or you bore the hole or something. And these little bumpy things on here actually form the thread. It's kind of like thread rolling on a bolt, but you do thread rolling on the inside. So you But that's not, wanted, not an exotic uh, number either, that's no, a it's, standard. It's uh, a standard 5818, you know, fine thread 58. Right. That's, it, what, that's what blew me away. Yeah, so this is good for uh, blind holes. You don't want to pack chips in the bottom of production. Or I used to use them in copper because copper is really crappy to cut. But, but anyway, it's, uh, they're quite expensive. But you know, they came along in some surplus stuff, and we're gonna we're gonna. Well, it's mine now. Yeah, Road, Road King's <laughs> gonna have a have an assortment of odd taps there. So some I'm gonna put that in the drawer. Of tools I'm never gonna use. Yeah. I got, a, I got a few drawers like that too. Yeah. And we got another one here. This is 5 8 coarse thread. This is a little extended tab. You could call them short pulley taps. Some pulley taps might come a little bit longer or something like that. And you know, this is for getting down alongside of things. What kind of bottoms does it have on it? That's a, that's a pretty much a plug tap style, but short, probably production type machine tap. Okay, that's a, that's that's another thing I have, I've never come across. And we got this and kind this, here. This, this is wild too. What's this going is a on spiral here? flute tap. You know, this is a three eight fine thread. And the idea here is it pulls the chips out. You do this, this is a production style tap. Whenever we go in here, you'll get chips flying out just like a drill bit, but, really? it, but it's a tap. And then, you know, it's used for blind holes and stuff. Huh. Mostly aluminum. That's cool. What size is that? That's a 3 8 fine thread. 3 8 right. I'll probably use that. And then uh, we got some other conventional style taps here. You know, this is a hand tap. This is what's called a bottom tap, where they got a real short lead in here. So if you want to, you know, thread something, you know, the part is. You know, X, X thick, and you got to go almost all the way through with a thread. You, you go in there with a your uh, your taper tap or your plug tap, which would be that long for starting, and then you would finish the tap with this. And it, it would, this would come in a in a set of three with a taper tap, a plug tap. Which well, I said, what's in that box there? Yeah, we could probably find a find a plug tap in here. Yeah, plug style tap. In other words, it, it's just the length of the taper on the end. Most of the time you use a plug tap, but you know, for hand tapping, you know, you might want to... <laughs> been there for a while. Been in there for a while, it don't want to leave. Well, anyway, that's what it looks like. <laughs> it's got a shorter lead there, whereas this kind of, you can see that, it's got a long taper, and it's got a little bit less yeah. of a taper. Right. You know, but anyway, these are bigger ones, so you can see what it is. You know, that, and they, these would come in a set of three. And then you got another style here. So there's actually a lot more to tapping than oh, the yeah, whole yeah. right. Than uh, just an old craftsman set or something. Yeah, yeah, and I thought I saw a gun tap here. Mm, hmm. Here we go, right here. This is a production style tap. This is called a gun tap. And what they do, most of them are three flute. They could be a more when they get bigger, but they've got a, you know, an angle ground on the front like that. And this actually, when you go down, pushes the chips ahead of the hole. This is mostly for through for through tapping. Balls, yeah. It goes down and the chips just wind up through the part and hmm. nothing to deal with. They come out in stringers. And the cutting action is all done in this. This uh, well, it's done on all of them, but mm. because the angle is right. Yeah, I've never know, seen one that, that like sharp that. of an angle. Yeah. So the, these are these are nice taps to. Uh, I've to never seen one with a, a divot there. Like this. This would be like for a, re, a uh, quick retainer. disconnect or something. Well, maybe. Probably there's special some kind of special tapping yeah. machine where this would go in and it would have a pin going across or maybe yeah. some kind of ball retainer or something like that and drive off the square, but. Uh, that don't matter on this end here, and it's got a square on it for the tap wrench, which we got one of them here. This oh, yeah, is like the that. best example of one, but this is a uh, probably a homemade one, somebody's shop project, you know. And uh, so you would, you know, work it by hand. Now, when you're doing so, I do a lot of tapping in a Bridgeport machine, so I have, uh, I have some, you know, you take some old broken end mills and you grind 60 degree points in mm -hmm. the end. Well, that, it goes in the back of this center hole. So you put that in the drill chuck, which. 
Okay, we'll show a drill chuck. <laughs> drill chuck with the imaginary point in there, and this, and then you'd have your tap wrench on there, and then you drill your hole, and then you put this in here, and then you can start yeah. the tap nice. I've shown I've shown that before, just yeah. using the pivot. You know, or or you can put it in the drill chuck, but if it's a big tap, you know, I I've, <laughs> I've told some big pipe taps by hand, two inch pipe tap by hand, where you need that center. And What's the deal with the back where they have like a point? I think I had one. Yeah, I don't know if that's one or not. Well, this is a this is actually when they make a tap. There's a center in the end there, uh -huh. and this is actually a lathe center, but it's reverse or, huh. or a grinder oh. center. So when they put this tap in the machine to grind it and sharpen it, okay. or, or actually the actually smaller taps, they grind the uh -huh. they grind the teeth in it. So this is actually the center. So instead of having another little weenie center right. in there, which you can't have a big one back here, you have that. So that goes into a cup center, reverse of a lathe center. And then, so that really has no effect on you tapping or anything. No, that just except that's, giving you nowhere to put a pinhole. Well, if, I guess yeah. if you had a reverse center, you could put right. in your uh, <laughs> you're in your drill chuck, but that's really really for manufacturing of the tap. Hmm. Okay, uh, so there you go. A lot more uh, involved in tapping than uh, just going to Sears and picking up a thing. Yeah, very cool. Thanks a lot, Rob. All right. Say goodbye no to your friends. Bye, fans. And if they like it, maybe we'll uh, make a series for them. There we go. All righty. Who's this guy? A little hit and miss. He tubes. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Enough of this. All right, we, we just came across something really strange that I've never come across. Right? Right, what is, is that? The addendum to the tap identification. This is a left-hand tap. Now, if on occasion you need to do reverse threads for something that you know would unscrew if you don't want it to mm -hmm. unscrew, like so. They basically it's there's a whole you can get all these other taps in the left hand. It's the left hand. So basically, teeth go the other way. Wow, you know, that's so. wild. Yeah, you know I, I've, I've known some things have left-handed threads and stuff like that, but. I, I didn't even think I'd have a yeah, tap for that. Taps and dies, and you know huh. they're not as common, but you know. I'll have to write this. Somebody wrote it. I'll have to write it darker so I can. Yeah, the left hand. Yeah, because if you put this in the drawer with your other one <laughs> and you try to use it, <laughs> you're going to be a little confused for a while. Oh well. Uh, I'll bring it back. I'll say this thing don't work. <laughs> to reject. It's cut uh, the wrong way. All right. Let me get. Let me get out of here.